entitled Point Blank and the Period. It's my new series focused on topics such as love, sex, relationships, and basically everything in between. Now, if you didn't know, my name is Marcus. I'm just a down-to-earth, country-bred dude that's full of different life experiences and the love of many different things. Now, let me first give you some background on me. I came up with the idea basically of starting a vlog while sitting among a group of my friends discussing numerous topics. The conversations got very deep. I felt at that time that it should have been recorded. Everybody was different and everybody had different opinions and I found that the topics that we were discussing were either something that some people were going through or either thinking about. So why not? So the question I want to propose to you guys today is what is happiness and where does it come from? Let's talk about it. Now, let's go to the textbook definition of happiness. According to the Oxford definition, happiness is basically a state of being happy. And it's an emotional state that's categorized by feelings of joy, satisfaction, contentment, and fulfillment. So basically, it's positive feelings and life fulfillment, anything that's bringing you those equivalents. So... What is happiness to you though? Let's put it in perspective. From my personal experiences and personal situations that I've been through, I've come to find out that happiness actually comes from within. It doesn't come from any other person, place, or thing. It starts from within. Touching on that, let's, let's go deeper. Let's talk about the love aspect. Some people are in a relationship where they feel like that person is the one that makes them happy. Don't you know most of those relationships do not end up working out at the end because they're relying on all of their happiness coming from that one particular person. Now, say for example, they break up with that person. So where does your happiness come from then? Where does it go? In the initial state, it should come from you. So if that person was to walk out of your life, if that person was to leave, guess what? You'll still be content. Let's talk about the aspect of being happy in your career. Say, for example, you are in a position of your job where you're making great money, got great hours, people are great, things of that nature. So you rely on that job to make you happy and fulfill you. What if that job closes down? What if that job lays you off? Where does your happiness go then? It's gone. It should start from within. We have to rely on ourselves at the end of the day. That's all we have. That person should make you happy yourself. Now I want to touch on the subject of my own personal happiness. Within the last three months, I had to learn to rely on myself. I had recently placed my happiness in one particular person. Come to find out at the end of the day, that person left me high and dry. Now it wasn't basically on a uh, relationship, romantic relationship aspect. It was just, you can say it was basically a friendship or business, you know, relationship that we had. That whole relationship did make me happy, but I relied on that particular person to make me happy as well. My mistake is that I didn't find the happiness within myself in the beginning. Once that whole relationship didn't work out, once that person had walked away from me high and dry, left me hanging, I was devastated. It was a point where I just couldn't believe everything that had happened. Because, like I say, I put all of my happiness from that particular person. I thought at that particular time that person was the person that made me happy or the situation made me happy. But I wasn't thinking at the end of the day that the situation could change at any time and there goes my happiness. Never thought of that until it happened. So that's all I wanted to come on and talk about this. But basically right now, once that happened, I realized that happiness should have came from me. And that's what I'm realizing now. That's what I'm doing at this particular time. And I couldn't be in a better space, headspace and all. Basically, like I say, in a great place, living my life as I should, being happiest 
possible in every aspect. It started with me. It started within. And I'm able to exude that. Now, anything that I'm, I do, anywhere I go, anybody I meet, I'm able to exude that. I'm able to show I'm happy now. It came from me. It's coming from me now. Now, anything or anyone else. And if I can do it, you can too. Just believe in yourself. Make yourself happy by any means necessary. Life is too short right now for us to live unhappy. People are falling out with each other. People are leaving this earth in a matter of seconds. You want to look back at your life and say, hey, I lived a good life. Hey, I was happy. Hey, I had everything. You don't want to make that regret of not being happy while you're here. And if, like I said, if it's not making you happy, let it go as well. It doesn't define who you are as a character if you were to let the things and the people and the places that are not making you happy go. It doesn't make you a bad person. At the end of the day, you have to protect your peace and you have to protect your happiness because it comes from you. Nothing else, no one else. Basically, thank you guys for listening to me. I know it's very brief, but I just want to give you a little hint of inspiration. And I hope that it touched at least one person out there. Until next time, you guys take care and I love you.